one little disclaimer that I want to put on there is that um, I myself, and I'm sure Jamie, you're in the same boat as me, we have not read the manga. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Yes. So what I would like is to avoid manga spoilers because I don't want it to be spoiled because people go on YouTube and they spoil everything. So rotten YouTube comments. Hell, don't spoil the anime. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Well, well, Jamie, we can't take care of that. Sorry. I was like, don't tell me about the anime because I haven't seen that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I think that's pretty much. Oh, the other thing is that a lot of people have asked me about this. I can officially say we know absolutely nothing about season two. <laughs> we don't know when it's coming out. We don't know when and if we're going to dub it. I'm assuming we will, but you know. You know, and while we're talking about additional seasons, we also don't know anything about season two of Panty and Stocking or season four of DXD. Exactly. So, you know, it's, we never know about those things. You guys actually probably find out way before we do because you guys actually pay attention to that you stuff. You guys definitely find out way before we do. Yeah, absolutely. So as far as season two goes, all we know is the same thing that you guys know, which is it's going to come out next year, sometime next year. I have no idea. But also, uh, this isn't just for the original series. This is also for Attack on Titan Junior High. Anybody see Attack on Titan Junior High? It's also an awesome, awesome show. If you have not seen that yet, Jamie. I have not seen that either. It's so funny. It is <laughs> absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Jamie's too busy making absolutely fantastic scripts for a lot of the shows of Funimation. So. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we should open it up to questions, I think. Ready? Oh, my gosh. Quite a couple. You choose, m'lady. You choose. Okay, off. we got right here. How, how did Annie become a Titan shifter? Spoiler. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a good question. We have no idea because we don't know her background and we don't know what her mission is exactly. So maybe it'll explain it more in the second season. Magic. Magic, magic. It's magic. Here you go. Um, how fun was it making the Attack on Titan season one and everything that happened? Uh, in general? Like, just recording it? Jamie, do you want to start? Well, all in all, I think I spent 40 minutes recording Anka. <laughs> so from my, I had a lot of fun in those 40 minutes two years ago. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. You rocked at getting those horses <laughs> out, Jamie. I get the horses out like twice, you guys. <laughs> and I live, because I'm getting the horses. Somebody has to do it. Um, Titan was the first show that I was uh, cast in for Funimation, and ever since then I've been um, working with them, and I absolutely adore and love everybody at Funimation. Um, and to start with Funimation on that project was absolutely amazing for me. Um, and the recording process was great because you know you would go, I would fly out to Dallas, record a couple different episodes, fly back home, and then a couple weeks later I would fly back. It was really nice to get to see everybody, and I would actually stay with Jamie sometimes when sometimes, I was in town. Sometimes, yeah. Um, and then uh, the whole recording process was just awesome. It was it's such a great show, and I had an absolute blast with it. Annie is a total badass, so I was really excited to play her. Horses. If you were in the show Attack on Titan, which regiment would you join? Ooh. Ooh, which regiment? Okay, so for those of you who aren't familiar with which of the regiments there are. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> I got your back. I told you. I got your back. Um, so there is the Garrison Regiment, the Scout Regiment, and the Military Police. The Garrison uh, Regiment is basically in charge of protecting the wall to make sure that there aren't any Titans trying to get in. And then there's the... Oh, no, I don't want that one. No, you don't want that one? Okay. Then there's, this, then there's the military police where you are in the highest part of the city and you basically protect the king. It's a very cushy job, very cushy life. It's very safe. Okay, I'm going to say that right now. Okay. Safety, All right. but All right. keep All going. Right. And the last one is the scout regimen where basically that is, uh, that's where the Levi squad comes in. And they basically go out and they find Titans and they fight them and they kill them. No. So you would be the MP. 
Everybody. Military police. Yes. <laughs> I would want the cushy one high away from everything. I honestly could see you as a total badass, though, in either the Garrison or Scout Regiment. Well, thanks. Because I know that you are an incredibly badass lady, incredibly strong. I know you could kick some serious ass, Jamie. So. Right. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's true. So, also, but you know how to protect people as well. So I do. You but are I bad. like the idea of being up high and being like, don't do that. Oh, it's too late. So, my bad. My bad. You should, you should not. No, nope, you're going to. Oh, <laughs> dinner. Um, I probably would not last a day in the scout regimen. I probably end up petrified. I see what you did there. Do they turn into trees? They, ah, it's terrible. Yes, they turn into trees. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's this is that, the most information I've ever learned on a panel. The joke never gets old to me. Anyway, uh, Scout Regiment, I would not last a day in. Uh, Garrison is either or. Sometimes it can be a really boring job, or at other times it can be kind of intense. It depends on what's going on outside the wall. So, like, when the series first... Would you rather... Face Titans or zombies? Zombies. I think so. Zombies because they're the same height as you. Right. And you could just shoot right. them in and the then head. if you're high up as an MP, yeah, you they don't make eye contact with you because they're so far below. Exactly. Exactly. So definitely zombies. Zombies. Definitely zombies. We got a question here. <laughs> um, I have a question for you as Annie. Um, it's a pun. Warning everyone now. Um, do you think she put her life on ice when she... So. Wow. That, sh that deserves a round of applause. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious, my friend. Um, yes. Absolutely. Does she get frozen? She puts, she puts herself in an ice crystal. It looks like she's like Snow White in her glass coffin. Does she sing Let It Go when that happens? No. Oh, lame. Not at all. It's kind of dumb. I feel like I should sing Do You Want to Build a Snowman? That would be great. I know, right? And then she could be like, do you want to build a snowman? And then be like, meh. Meh. That's it's happen. really funny. I, I had a, was anybody at my horror movie panel last night? Anybody? One person? Awesome. Um, <laughs> Um, there was a moment... That's why you weren't at the party. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, I, I had to do some technical stuff before we started because I was silly and didn't bring a laptop. Um, so there was a point where in one of the horror movies that I was showing, it was The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and uh, the main character's little sister goes and knocks on her door, and she says, Emily, can you come downstairs? And all of a sudden I hear somebody say, Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. It was it's funny. funny. So, sisters, am I right? <laughs> I don't. I don't have sisters either. <laughs> this is the worst panel. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, what was your favorite part of Attack on Titan Junior High? Well, um, I have a couple favorite moments. My favorite was the. I have. I have three favorite episodes. I love the love letter episode. I love the dodgeball episode. And I love the uh, summer festival one where Bear Tolt and Annie go on a date. I think that is absolutely adorable. And one of the questions that I get, which I love Tatum's answer for this, by the way. So one of the questions that we get a lot is, who do you ship in Attack on Titan, right? Now, the Titans away. <laughs> I, I actually didn't have an answer for this at first. And Tatum actually had a perfect answer, which was, you know, this show is clearly very happy and very upbeat and all that. There's hardly any death in it. So if you, at the very beginning of the series, where the main character's mother is horribly slaughtered in the first episode, if you're thinking about who's hooking up with who, we're not really doing our jobs as actors. <laughs> but now I actually have an answer, and uh, I just totally shit Baratolt and Annie, because it's actually legit now, because it's in junior high. So... I'd ship it. That's right. Good. Yeah. Um, since Annie kind of, in a way, killed Marco, do you like half Marco jokes? Hello. That's actually not a half bad question. 
Um, Did she cut him in half? No, he was found burnt. Like on uh, one side of, on one half of his body, he's completely scorched. Like completely burnt. But the other was fine? Yes. But he was deed? He was deed. Okay. He did. He was dead. And also, innocent until proven guilty. Next question. Do you have jokes about it? <laughs> Do I, I, that's. You just had one. I just had one, which is, that's not half, that's half not a, a not half bad a you question. You it. And then, um, it's forgivable. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I try to be funny. I'm not nearly as funny as Jamie is. I try, though. Jamie is, Jamie is somebody that I look up to greatly. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm super funny, you guys. It's like She's ridiculous. hilarious. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, you know what? I will try and think of, yeah. I will try and think of a joke, I promise. On, on the spot, not really, but that's the only pun that I can think of, but I will think of more. Um, you said uh, uh, your favorite episode of um, Attack on Titan Junior High, but what's your uh, favorite episode of Attack on Titan itself? Um, my favorite, one of my favorite episodes is, um, well, it's a toss up. I, I really, really like the third episode, which is where Aaron is learning to use the ODM gear. Um, I think that's a great episode because we meet a lot of the characters. But then I also love the fourth episode because that's the episode where Annie beats both Rhina and Aaron, and that's an awesome scene. So, you know. Now, have, what, have you been able to see a lot of it? Like, any of it, Jamie, or no? Not at all? <laughs> None. <laughs> it's okay. That's your any homework. Any of it, ever. That's your, that's your homework at some point uh, when yeah. you have the time. In all my free time, I'll go ahead and watch an entire series, two, two different series. <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> that's going to work. Okay, here we but, go. Um, there was also another episode of Junior High that I love, and that's the, uh, the seven horror ones, I think. Right? I think it's seven. Is it seven? Somebody? And if you're talking, I cannot hear you. They said yes. They, they said yes. Seven. Okay. So yeah, that's that's also a really funny one because almost everybody is in it, and Josh Greeley as Armin in that. Whole, so here's the thing about Armin and in in junior high, he is so frail that if he is not wearing his security futon on top of his head, he gets a cold, and it is absolutely the cutest thing ever. I can't handle that. Yeah, it's it's really cute. Irrational. It's, it's irrational. It, <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely adorable. Because most really anime funny. is extremely rational. Well, I mean, it is anime. It's supposed to be realistic, right? 100%. 100%. Next question. I don't know where you are. Yeah, okay. Why do you think Annie acts the way she does? Like, why do you think she's so mean to everyone? Daddy issues. Oh. Clearly. Actually, seriously, daddy issues. Um, wild guess. It's usually always the answer. <laughs> Well, I mean, there could be several different reasons. My, my take on it is that, you know, she was clearly chosen at a very young age to be this warrior, to be this soldier, and she was trained by her father, but... Um, oh my God, she's like anime Beyonce. Exactly. <laughs> she, um, you know, and clearly she was probably raised that way. She was probably raised not to show a lot of emotion or because of whatever mission she's on, maybe that's the reason why she's like that towards a lot of people. Um, but in the one of the last couple episodes of the series, we see a flashback of her father, you know, holding her close and saying, you know, apologizing to her, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Annie. So I can only assume, seriously, daddy issues. And the fact that she is there for a mission. She's not there to make friends. She's not there to necessarily help them, even though she does at times. But again, a lot of people, a lot of people come up to me and they say, you know, Annie, you know, I see Annie as a villain and, and all that. And I, I love villains. Villains are the best part, in my opinion, of stories. But I don't see Annie as a villain. I see her as more of an anti-hero. I see her as someone who is clearly there for a reason. And she's not doing it for her own selfish needs, I don't believe. Uh, she was clearly chosen for this because she is very skilled and she's a very strong woman. That's my take on it. So hopefully that answers your question. All right, we have another question over here. I'm coming. I need to get one of those jackets, man. I don't have one. 
I was wondering, um, what's your favorite ship? Levi x Aaron or John x Marco? <laughs> um, my favorite would be Levi and Windex. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've actually asked Matt uh, Mercer, who sadly uh, could not be here with us this weekend. Um, we all miss him. In fact, we should do like a video saying we miss you, Matt, or something for him because he would really like that. Um, I have asked him before what his uh, view on that relationship is. I've said, you know, is it true that Levi and Windex have a thing going on? He said, at times, yes, but there are other times where he has a bit of a side thing with Pysol. So, it changes all the time. So. If you were stuck on an island with one of the members, who would it be and why? Who would you be stuck with, Jamie? Well, I'd have to have a horse so I could go get it. <laughs> no, I just, I, that's what I was expecting. And it was amazing. I was like, there's only one answer A to horse. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Or that's, Annie, I mean, because it sounds like she's just somebody who gets stuff done that needs to get done. Yeah, It seems much. like that would be the route to go. Yeah, exactly. And she can make things happen and all that. But it actually would be very practical to have a horse to get around, seriously. So it would work. And then, when you don't need to get around anymore, dinner. It's di that's dark, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I would never eat a horse. <laughs> I'm it's a joke. <laughs> um, who would I be stuck, uh, who, it, which, which of the characters I would be stuck on an island with? Was that the question? Yes. Um, if there was a horse, I know. I would, I would totally be with, I would, I would totally choose Jamie's character because so then I could go get the horse. The horse is. <laughs> <laughs> but I would also love, I would also love to be on the island with Sasha because she, I don't actually know. That's not a good idea because she would steal all the food. Um, she would. But she, but she would be really uh, like a good person to have around. You know, keep you upbeat and all that. Or Connie, because I absolutely adore Connie. Um, not Aaron, he would yell too much. Um, not Mika says she would just be a downer. Um, I mean, Armin. <laughs> exactly, we're on an island, stop bringing the room down, please. So, there's a ton of characters, definitely. Hi, who else has a question? I have a question over here. This question is for Jamie. Jamie, if you could change any one thing in the show, what would it be and why? I love you, Gio. I would... <sighs> I'm gonna punch you later. <laughs> I would I make... I would make the Titans have genitalia because I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> Amen. That would make the show way more interesting. I don't care who you are. Can you imagine little baby titans running around? That would be, that would be even more crazy. I would cry from laughter. <laughs> if that was the case, I'd have already seen it. I know, right? <laughs> what would be Sasha and Annie's favorite cereals? Cereals! Apple Jacks. Ap oh, Apple That's Jacks. That's just my favorite. Apple Jacks is my favorite. I haven't favorite. had Apple Jacks in a long time. OK, it's so, so I, it's a hard, I love too many cereals. Sasha's, Sasha's would probably be, I don't know, Captain Crunch. Sasha's would be Captain Crunch. Mine with Crunch Berries or without? With Crunch Berries. Are you okay. kidding me? Absolutely. I don't know. With Sasha's Crunch Berries. Cereal. Um, my, let's see. Annie's would probably be <laughs> something really boring. Um, probably like. No. What is the other one? Grape? Uh, uh, grape nuts? Yes, grape, grape nuts. nuts. Yeah, probably something like that. Because she needs to stay in good shape. And she's not very, she's not the kind of person that goes out and does something fun. So I don't think she would choose a fun cereal. That's just my opinion. Uh, this is a two-parter. Um, a, have you ever seen the anime JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No. And B, if you have, would you voice in it? Uh, I would voice in it, but I have not been in it. Or seen it. I, I have not. I have not seen it. I know of it because I know a lot of people in it. 
I know it's supposed to be very funny, right? Funny, maybe, in a corny way. I don't even remember. Yeah. But yeah, sure. Yes. It looks very pretty. It's amazing. Is it amazing? It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. How amazing is it? An 11. Wow. It goes all the way to 11. That's what you're saying. All right. Sweet. I think we should see it, Jamie, and I think we should be, I think totally. we should, I yeah, think we should I'll get do it. That. Again, in my free time, I'll put it on the list. Absolutely. It looks Which pretty. character would you be and why, other than Annie? Uh, Hanji. I would love to be Hanji because she's so funny and she's crazy, and Jessica Cavallo is absolutely perfect as Hanji because she, she totally cosplayed me in the booth yesterday. Did she? Yeah, she tweeted about it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, and it was really great. Next question. Next question. Who we got? Oh, we got one all the way in the back. Making me run. <laughs> Getting your cardio in. I know, right? Woo, burn off those cookies. Oh my god, those were delicious cookies. <laughs> um, when you first saw the first episode of Attack on Titan and you saw Aaron's mom be, you know, devoured by the Titan, what was your reaction? Honestly, at that point, I was so drawn to the show. I was so emotionally involved in it that it was, it was a horrible thing to see, you know? It was, it's, it's an amazing first episode. Like, it really is. I, like, for me personally, there's not, there's not a lot of shows out there that where I'm immediately pulled into the first episode. Sometimes it takes me a couple episodes to get into it. Uh, with Titan, I was immediately drawn to it. And that, like, that whole scene is, at the same time, while tragic, it's beautifully done. And Jessica Kavanaugh, who uh, was the voice of Aaron's mother, absolutely stole that scene. She absolutely stole that scene because there's a moment where she, you know, she screams at her children to get away, survive. She's playing the mother role, but then in a brief moment at the same time, she realizes, I'm still human and I'm still terrified and I don't want to die. So instead of saying it out loud, you know, she says under her breath, you know, don't leave me. And it's absolutely, tra it's very tragic, very terrifying. And it's, the whole scene is just beautiful, but incredibly, horribly tragic. So, yeah, was, I had to take a break after watching that. I was just like, I, I can't. I actually, surprisingly enough, I didn't take many breaks when I marathoned it for the first time. It was kind of funny. So, do you guys want to hear a funny story? Of okay. Course. I don't know if you know the story. You probably know the story, maybe. Um, I will. So when I found out that I was uh, cast as Annie, oh, and by the way, that's another thing. For those of you who are wanting to get into the acting profession, it is getting cast in something, not casted in something. Pet peeve, alert. It's cast. It's cast, not casted. I was not casted as Annie. I was cast as Annie. A lot of people confuse the two. So just letting you know, just a little FYI. Um, so when I first found out that I was cast as Annie, Mike McFarlane, who was the voice director as well as the voice of John Kirstein, called me. And, um, and I had never seen the show at this point. I had no idea what it was. I, I didn't even know there was an anime. I just knew that it was really popular and a lot of people were digging it. So Mike calls me and he says, well, we were talking about it and we decided we want to cast you as Annie. And I just was like, yay, that's awesome. And because of my not huge reaction, Mike was a little caught off guard. And he says to me, uh, have you seen the show? Do you know anything about the show? And I said, no, I know nothing. I just know that it's a big show and everybody loves it. And I just hear this. <sighs> okay. Um, all right. Here's the thing about here's the thing about Annie. She starts off as a side character, but she gets bigger later. Did it? Yeah. There you go. Now it's clicking. I I didn't get it, but every time I would tell someone that, every time I would say exactly what he said, Patrick being one of them, was cracking up in the background when I was talking to somebody else on the phone that was with him at the time. And he just was laughing so hard, but he couldn't tell me that. It was really funny. It was a 
punny joke. Huh. All right, any more questions? I see a question right over here. What is Levi and Aaron's relationship? I mean, we could go into that, but this is a kid-friendly environment. Um, I'm gonna guess it's not what you want it to be. <laughs> probably, probably not. Um, they're cleaning buddies. That's exactly what they are, they're cleaning buddies. That's their relationship. Um, really quickly, um, <laughs> Thanks for nothing. What are your guys' favorite quotes in Attack on Titan? I know uh, mine. I'll go get the horses. Darn it. You took my answer. Come on, Jamie. Come on. That's my favorite. It's the one I said <sighs> twice, so there you have it. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I know. It is a little bit. <laughs> I can understand. So. Um, my favorite quote... There's a lot. There's a lot of lines that I really like in that show. Um, hmm. I really love Armin's speech. Um, Armin's speech in episode 10, Josh did a fantastic job on that. And every time he does it on a panel, it makes me tear up every single time. It's just, it's very beautifully done. So um, there's a lot of quotes that I like. Oh, I, I love... Um, Patrick Seitz is Keith. I think he is absolutely amazing. And in episode three, when Aaron is failing with the ODM gear, I love when he kneels down and he says, what is your major malfunction, Jaeger? It was amazing. To me, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Now I have a favorite quote. It's in that same episode where Keith is going up and down talking to all the recruits and the whole potato exchange. And my favorite is when, you know, she says... Are you asking me why people eat potatoes? I'm surprised you don't know, sir. And then you see the look on Connie's face, which is, are you kidding me right now? And then, you know, she breaks it in half and she hands him the smaller half, by the way. And he says, why would you give me that potato? And it was amazing. So, yeah. Nice outfit. Um, what's your opinion on John being referred to as horse face? Um, do I get him at all? Do what? No, you don't get him, Jamie. You don't. There's your pun. I know. Missed that. I know. <laughs> um, you know, I actually don't get it. He doesn't, I, to me, I don't see the horse face. I don't, but it's, it's, it's somebody, I think you, in the front row reminded me, I think it was you or somebody else that reminded me that his nickname was Horseface. Something like that. That wasn't you, it was somebody else. And I said, oh, that's right, his nickname's Horseface. Take credit for it. Take credit. Yeah, it was totally me. Totally <laughs> did it. All right, so next question. Uh, we got one over here. Can you do Annie's laugh? Oh, no. Um, I would, but it's so loud in here. <laughs> Um, and I would break everybody's eardrums. No, people appear pressure. Do it like a, an adorable, quiet version of it. Okay, I'll do, an, I'll do a quiet version of it because it's going to be way too loud for this room. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. You know, Armin, it's nice that I could be a good person for you. For now, at least, it looks like you've won your bet. But I'm going to gamble, too. And here's my wager. Woo! Hello. I usually do it louder, but again, it would everybody would stop and look if I didn't, so I don't want to do it that loud. So, yes. Hi, okay, so this is a two-part question. Have you seen Attack on Titan abridged? And if so, what's your opinion on it? No, hated it. <laughs> that was a combined answer. No, hated it. Um, I, I've, I, we, we know the Team Four Star guys, yeah. like, and they're, they're cool guys, they're cool guys. Um, I have not seen uh, Titan abridged. I will, I keep telling myself to because everybody says it's really funny. Um, but no, I have not seen it yet. Um, and, and Jamie has clearly seen it and she loves it. 
clearly. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> I was in a play called Shakespeare Abridged. Ah, oh, you were in that? Mm-hmm. I love Shakespeare Abridged. It was fun. It's an amazing, amazing show. That's also another thing is that if you're interested in pursuing a career in acting, and I'm not, I'm not specifically saying voice acting, by the way, because voice acting is acting. It's part of the whole Shapil. Um But Shapil, I meant, I meant, you know, like I brain is farting majorly today. Um, that's another thing is that you really should get involved in theater, and that show includes a lot of improv, right? Shakespeare abridged. Pretty much, which is awesome. I love that show. There's a filmed version of it as well, which is also really funny. So if you guys don't know Shakespeare Bridge, definitely check that out. That's really funny. That I saw another question. Who has a question? Ah, I got it over here. <laughs> it's okay. It's so weird. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Well, if you could date a character from Attack on Titan. If we could date a character from Attack on Titan character? I'd probably just stay single. I just don't really want to be in that world. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fun. I have a great time by myself. So I don't, I don't need that drama. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I probably would, yeah, that would be a little hectic. I mean, we see what happens to couples in Attack on Titan. That's- also, I cannot imagine emotionally what trauma, that kind of trauma would do to somebody. And that, again, is beyond my scope of crap I'm willing to deal with. Like, if you have had a giant human-like monster attack your village and, like, murder your mom, let's say, I wish you well, but not here. I wish you well. (laughs) Um, I mean, that's a brilliant answer. Um, For me... I mean, I like, I like, I'm, I, I personally, I like a man who cleans, so probably go with Levi, so. What's your question? Oh. Love okay, you guys. Okay, well, a man who cleans, that's something, I might be willing to deal with the trauma if someone actually cleans. Exactly. What? He is that's a crazy amazing. cleaner. Amazing. Crazy, crazy cleaner, man. If you could date any character from any anime, who would it be and why? I would be Goku. No, 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 I would be Vegeta. That's because Vegeta is awesome. He's, yeah, and then, I'll, do I need to explain why? It's kind of self-evident, right? Because it would be awesome. Did you say B or date? date. Oh, date. date. I take it all back. <laughs> date in anime. Uh... Lawrence from Spice and Wolf. Um, mine would probably be one of my little tiny anime crushes. Is anybody familiar with Seven Deadly Sins? Bon, all the way. I, yeah, Bon anime crush. Guy in like really tight red leather with like white spiky hair and like glowing red eyes. It's awesome. He rocks it. So, good question. Which, by the way, considering that we're both on here, you guys are more than welcome to ask other questions, not specifically about Titan, but other stuff too. So, your thoughts on Kill a Kill? Uh, I think I am not in that. That's my thought on it. But it sounds like a lot of fun. Someone, if you have a gun, just shoot me in the face right now. This is so painful. <laughs> It's not her fault they put her on this. Um, I personally, um, I haven't seen all of Philip. And that's the end of that sentence. <laughs> Calm down. I haven't seen all of Kill a Kill. Um, I've watched maybe about halfway through with Erica. Oh my god. Here, take mine. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna take the opportunity. We're, you know, we could talk about Titan, but we're gonna talk about other stuff too. Because poor Jamie, she's like suffering up here. <laughs> if you had to be a character from Fairy Tale, which one would it be? She says Hana. From. <laughs> For me, it would be uh, the character Katya because I am Katya. So. 
think Urza is pretty badass, though. Urza is really cool, and she is. Kana has a barrel of beer, so I'm sticking with Kana. Thank you. And she sounds just like me. She sounds just like you? Exactly like me. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, you should hear her when she's drunk. (laughs) Fairy Tale's a really good show, by the way. So, it's an awesome show. We got got a question right over here. Um, I personally find Aaron Yeager to be annoying, whiny, and stereotypical. Do you like Aaron Yeager, and if so, why? Tell us how you really feel. Right? Do you disagree with him? Um, I think Aaron can be a little hot-headed sometimes, and yeah, at times he can be a little irritating, but I get where he's coming from, so it's kind of a double-edged sword kind of deal. So, yeah. But uh, a lot of people do find him very annoying. I, I don't know if I'm one of them, honestly. What up, Alexis? Oh, hi again, Sailor Neptune. Hi. Okay, my question is regarding Sailor Moon. Um, if you could be any other Sailor Scout other than Sailor Neptune, who would you be? Sailor Uranus. Of course. <laughs> you're, you're Sailor Uranus. What are you talking about? Um, and that's because they were two of my favorite characters. So, yeah. Awesome. Sa- um, yes. There was a... No? Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Um, if the cast of Attack on Titan was switched with DXD, who would they be? Um, I personally think Levi would be Rius. <laughs> That's really sweet, actually. That is really, they're so different. Um, <laughs> they really are. I mean, and you would know work, but, uh, <laughs> like, is Levi kind of the straight man? Yeah, then yes. Um, Ooh, Zenobia. Other, Zenobia? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Well, she has two different, totally, like, know, season two she, and season three, she totally she's, changes. She's a warrior, and then she goes from being a warrior to, have my baby, or I want to have your babies. I want to have your babies. Um, Is there someone like that in Titan? Is there someone who's ready to have babies? I don't know. She is kind of crazy, though. She is, yeah, she is kind of crazy. So yeah. maybe, maybe, I mean, but she wouldn't be as crazy as, she's not as crazy as Hanji, though. Hanji's, like, a little out there. Yeah, but she's nakeder, so... She is nakeder. Combine which, those together, and then you would have... By the way, I love the cute little censorship <laughs> things that they put on DXD. Oh, on the on the TV version? Oh, oh yes. That's not there in Final Video. Oh, really? You yeah. don't know that. No, no, no. That's, I, but it's real, it is really funny. Yeah, I, just, I like them, too. They're really cute. I don't know. That's, that's a tough question. Um, hmm... I don't know. I'd have to. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I think you know. I think Zenobia is actually pretty close to Mikasa, in a way. But she's not. A, she's, she's not. Kind of a downer. She's kind of a downer. She's a little. She's a little monotone, like Mikasa is. But Mikasa doesn't have any like crazy, crazy moments. So I don't know if she would be. That's tricky because Zenobia has two different personalities. So I don't know. Who would you replace or switch? This is kind of a weird one, but Mikasa and Konako. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. It's the dry humor. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Hello. I I have a question. What we going What we go good on the pizza? Hold on. Can you pull the mic back a little bit more? Just repeat that question one more time, love. Oh my bad. Uh, what would go good on a pizza? I'm tr- I'm ha- having trouble deciding. Ham and pineapple. That's my pizza, ham and pineapple. I'm really boring, man. Like, I, I love a good plain cheese pizza and or pepperoni. Like, I'm boring. If you could get, like, some sort of Parmesan cream sauce and then do a couple of different kinds of cheeses and then maybe put a little bit of a, um, like, a Philadelphia uh, steak on there, it's delicious. Where are you ordering from? Papa John's? Papa John's. Oh, I love Papa John's. Well, then just get the crust and dip it in that garlic butter sauce. You don't need anything else. Love Papa John's. Yeah, getting some thumbs up. <laughs> Hi again, Sailor Neptune. What's up, dude? Um, I was going to ask again something regarding the Sailor Moon. I can't imagine why. 
I was going to ask you, um, when you're voicing Sailor Neptune, um, what's the hardest thing you've ever had to do, like voicing Sailor Neptune? Like, what, did you ever have a hard a moment to film, like where you got emotional or anything? Like anything regarding Sailor Uranus? Well, I mean, I mean, partner? I mean, like, I like how you had to clarify that. Sailor Uranus, your partner. <laughs> um, I mean. I'm very familiar with Sailor Moon. I'm very familiar with the whole series, essentially. But um, as 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 far as recording wise, not necessarily. As far as moments where it was emotionally, uh, you know, emotional. I can't even tell where it was emotional. It'd probably be one of their death scenes, you know. So or it, there's only one that we've recorded so far. A death scene. It's a death scene, you know. But you know what? The anime's been out for over 20 years, so... Not, no surprise. No surprises now. And if you haven't seen it, then... Surprise! <laughs> okay, this is a joke. Um, have you heard of the guy who got his whole left side chopped off? No. Oh, well, he's all right now. Ah! That was yes. a good one. Round of applause for that awesome joke. That was a good one. Very nice. Woo! That was awesome. I'm terrible at telling jokes. The ones that I tell are people are ones that people have told me. And the ones that I tell can never be told in front of like other people. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. Um, question: Which is the hardest character you guys have ever portrayed? Portrayed. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't play the hard ones. The ones that make them hard. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say, don't say that. Don't say what I just said. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Um, well, I think it's, you know, the most difficult, the most is more, I think more, ch it's challenging is a better term for it because hard, difficult makes it sound like it's not fun and it's always silly fun, like, you know. Um, I am more challenged with little boy voices uh, it's just hard on my throat, um, and also characters that scream a lot. I know. Stop it! Uh, Junk. Uh, what? Uh, we turn. Okay. The, uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Junko from Danganronpa, when uh, she does the Monokuma voice, uh, that is uh, done in the anime by Greg Ayers. If you're familiar with his voice, my voice trying to sound like that voice feels like shredding so that's that's a difficult but it's still really fun at the same time uh, for me it's it's when you know we we have to do a lot of screaming uh, screaming on top of screaming on top of screaming because after a while it can get very pain like you just you feel pain after a while um, for me I think one of the more difficult roles was um, uh, the character one in Dragon Guard 3 she is one of the bosses at the end of the game, and... Huh? One? One. Yeah, like, like the, the loneliest number. number you will ever hear? One is the loneliest number that you'll Never ever do. do. Two okay, can be as bad as... See, this is what you started, Jamie. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> she's the boss at the end of the game. And uh, randomly, you know, throughout the entire game, she's very monotone, very quiet. But then at some point, she just decides to start screaming nonstop. As you do. As you do in a video game. But this is, like, not even... This isn't even, like... Just put that over here. Yeah. This isn't even, like... D well, is it going to do that near the phone, maybe? No? Okay, we're good. Phone will keep it from rolling off. Okay. You know, uh, instead of, this isn't just like battle cries or anything. This is like, you know what? I'm just going to scream for no reason. Ah! Ah! And it was, it was so much fun, though. While it was exhausting, I had so much fun with it. So, yeah. Oh, over here. Oh. If you were a character from Fairy Tale and that's not Kana, who would you be? <laughs> and that's not Kana. Um... Let's see. I would be um, Mary Jane, I think, because I like the duality of those personalities. I I also really like uh, Levy. I'd be Levy. 
Um, what is the cutest mascot you've ever seen, and is it Happy? Because I've seen hundreds of animes, and no one compares to Happy, except for maybe Ryoroki. I mean, Happy is pretty cute, pretty stinking cute. But um, yeah, but so is Pikachu. Look at Pikachu. That's right, Pikachu. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of all the mascots that I know. Hey, you know what? That Cube is pretty cute. The what? Kube from Madoka Magica. He is an incubator. He's an evil little thing. For a second, I thought you said Cubert, and then I heard children yell, and I thought, nope, I didn't hear that right. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know what Cubert is. Children don't know Cubert. <laughs> uh, you know Cubert? Awesome. If you, if you don't know it, ask your parents, and they can ask their parents, and then maybe you'll know. <laughs> if, you, if you two were to decide, What's your top three show, Joe? Remind me what show Joe is. Okay, like it, it's more, it's leaning more to a girl audience. Oh. So like slice of life, romantic, possibly. I don't, I don't know because that sounded kind of sexist. I didn't mean for that to sound sexist. Um, I don't know. Uh, Spice and Wolf. It's funny because uh, there's a, I, it's so balanced though to say that shoujo. I have so many men that love these shows too, so it, it, it just feels wrong. But I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, Snow White and then um, Snow White with the red hair and then Spice and Wolf and mm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to pull DXD because that's targeted towards women. Um, maybe, I mean, it was marketed towards women, but I think it's also balanced to Italia. It's not really shoujo, but it is fun. Um, let's see. I mean, obviously Sailor Moon, but Sailor Moon reaches out to guys too. Um, they're all the, it's yeah. kind of what it all is, like any kind of magical girl. Yeah, it's, it's hard to choose because I, a lot of shows that, you know, are, have a little bit more of the romantic stories and whatnot, a lot of guys really like as well. Yeah, so. they're, they're, because they're more character driven, it's not as action driven, um, and believe it or not, men like characters too. What? I know. Get out of here. And also, blow your mind, women like action. That's so, insane. It's hard to, you know, be like, oh, which ones are... Are you kidding me? We, don't, been, we don't like to label. It's not true. Really like I, I've always loved Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is an awesome show. And my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie is Battle of Gods. Battle of Gods was awesome. It was fantastic. So it's, it's hard. That's a difficult question just because... I don't know. Like, because I've... Yeah, we don't understand the rules and regulations of sho shoujo, really. Exactly. So, but I'll try and think of a couple, and then you can come to my table in the back and ask me, and I will promise I'll give you an answer. Hopefully, if I can think of one. I will Google that answer right on up for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a two-parter question. What are your thoughts on Tokyo Ghoul? And if you could be any character from that anime, what would it be, and why? Haven't seen it. Don't know any of the characters. <gasps> I'm in it, and I know characters. Woohoo! Yay! I am the parrot. Hat today. Hat today. Hat today. That's me. And then I am also the bartender with the red hair. And that. Oh no! Well, apparently Jesus doesn't like that. Um, we're good. Oh, it's all we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, so, uh, I, actually, I would be the bartender. The bartender is most like, it, probably the most like me of any character I've ever okay. played. We only have time for one Except more. for, like, the whole vampire-y thing. But, um, other, you know, she's pretty much just me. So, I would still be her instead of the bird. <laughs> oh, okay. right, we have time for one more question. So one more. we have. Make it a good no one, no pressure. pressure. Um, this is sort of a two-part question, but you need to answer the first part in order to answer the second part. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the first part is, do you know of Hetalia? 
Yes, I am the lead writer for Hitalia and the narrator in Hitalia. Well, um, who is your favorite character? My personal favorite is Romano. He's like the best character ever. Mm, I'm a Prussia fan. He's my second. He's my he's third good, favorite. Right? He's my third favorite. Who's your second? Russia. Russia is very good too. Prussia and France are my top two. My favorite trio is the Bad Touch trio, which is Spain, France, and Prussia. They're hilarious. They are, yeah. And it's, it's really funny how sometimes they like to drag Romano into their adventures or whatever. It's mm -hmm. hilarious. I personally, uh, I've seen a couple of episodes of Italia. It's been a while since I've watched it. But uh, from what I've seen, Germany is one of my favorites. But that's because also Patrick Seitz is one of my best friends. So Female narrator. She's the, yeah, no, okay.